Hello guys, today I will be doing a dino tournament. It will have some non-dinosaur uh, creatures, but mostly dinos. Let's start. The Elasmanosaur and the crows. The Elasmanosaur has a long neck for hunting fish from afar, and the Chronosaur is has a long jaws so it can hunt pretty big. Uh, creatures, but in a battle, if the chronosaur would probably win because the small just couldn't penetrate the chronosaur's skin, it would charge attack its neck and bring it down. So, Elasmanosaur loses. Now, Carnotaurus versus Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here this would be a match unknown, but in my, uh, but uh, this is my situation. The Tyrannosaurus Rex wanted to go hunting, but the Carnotaur charged and bit it. The Tyrannosaurus Rex then head slammed its head so it into the Carnotaur's head so it could bite attack also. But the Carnotaurus, after a battle of bites and claws, it would win. It downed it. So bye bye. Spinosaurus versus Baryonyx. It well, both are fish-eating dinosaurs, but the Spinosaurus was bigger. So the Baryonyx, they saw each other and charged at each other. The spine both grappled, tried to grapple each other's neck and clawed, but the spine source was bigger, so it won for the baryonyx, so bye bye. Velociraptor versus Allosaurus. Of course, this is a pack of Velociraptors. The first one jumped, but the Allosaur clawed, uh, hit it with its claws and downed it. Another one jumped on its neck and bit the Allosaurus's neck. The Allosaurus tried to tail whip one that was jumping but they couldn't, couldn't hit it. Then one jumped at the face but got crushed by the jaws. But the raptors finished the Allosaurus, so Allosaurus, bye bye. Diplodocus versus um, Apatosaurus. First they would try to shake the ground to scare them off, then they would go a little closer. The Diplodocus would tail it because it has a longer tail. Then they would charge into each other with their sides and ram and shatter, but the Diplodocus was also a little bit bigger, so it would win versus the Apatosaurus, and it had that extra tail whip. This is a mm, this is a iguanodon and a triceratop. The iguanodon would try to block the triceratops attack by standing on its crest, but the triceratop charge would uh, ultimately succeed and mostly not kill but down the iguanodon. So bye bye, it loses. And Kylosaur versus Stegosaur. Both have, have their weapons again on their tails. They, first, this would, uh, they would hit them with the tail. They would hit themselves with their tails. But uh, the Ankylosaur would win, first of all, because it has armor instead of plates. But second of all, its face is a little more armored than the Stegosaurus. So bye-bye, Stegosaurus. Now Dilophosaurus versus Dimetrodon. Mm, Dilophosaurus was bigger, but it would still it, it would it would still be a battle because the Dimetrodon he uh, they may immobilized it and downed it because it, it bit its leg. But then the Dilophosaurus. Standed up and bit it and bit the Dimetrodon's sail. The Dimetrodon tried to jump and bit its uh, opponent's belly, but the Dilophosaurus bit its ha Dimetrodon's head and Dimetrodon lost. Bye bye.
Eu quero. Wait, o papai disse a cantar. Let's start. Cronosaur versus Diplodocus. Normally, a Cronosaur would win against almost all dinosaurs, but a Diplodocus would bring up a fight. So the Cronus, the Diplodocus was going in the water, but then it bit it. But then a Cronosaur bit its leg, tried to come out. But after a while, the Cronosaur he hit it down and drowned it. So Diplodocus, bye bye. And Calosaurus versus Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus, the Dilophosaurus wouldn't live with the Ankylosaur, but you know it's a tournament, so it doesn't have to be super realistic. The it bit its head. It tried to bite its head, but the Ankylosaur got a club tail swing and and uh, and it bit its armor, but that didn't do much. And another is uh, swing, and the Dilophosaurus was dead. Spinosaurus versus a pack of Velociraptors. This time, one Velociraptor tried to jump on the sail but tripped, and it could get clawed. Another one jumped at the face but got grappled and clawed. They did jump over it, but this time they couldn't jump on the back, so the Spinosaurus wins. Carnotaurus versus Triceratops. Both tried to charge at each other, but then. The Carnotaurus alone couldn't handle the Triceratops because it often, like Tyra, often uh, even Tyrannosaurus Rex had to hunt for Triceratops in a pack because it, it, Triceratops was pretty well armored. And in this situation, it won against the Carnotaurus because it char both charged the Carnotaurus, tried to charge it with its head, but it's the Triceratops horns went through it and killed it. Maybe in another situation it wouldn't win, but now it did. Mm. Spinosaur versus Ankylosaur. The Ankylosaur would try. It would swing its club tail. Then it would. But then the Spinosaur would grapple it and claw it. And he and Claude's head, so in this situation it won because it had strong enough Claude to do it. Chromosaur versus Triceratops. The Triceratops was just drinking from this, uh, went into the pre they had to cross some, um, br some water because, and the Chromosaur would easily win. And here, it it also wouldn't be much of a fight the Chronosaur would win, so Chronosaur is the victor!